Let's begin by taking the time slider back before we mirror this half of the vehicle and we'll delete the history after this point. And let's start working on the wheels. So we'll actually take the time slider back to where we first mirrored this first half of the tire. And let's go to fillet mode and we're going to select all of these edges all around the entire uh, wheel. So I'll probably stop the video here and continue after I've selected all of them. Now I'm complete so I'll just adjust this arrow to a smooth point. So somewhere that's rounded off about here, that looks fine. We'll hit OK. And let's bring back up fillet mode so we can select this inner ring here to round off. So we'll pull this arrow up. And once satisfied, we'll hit Control c to copy these parameters. And let's drag the arrow right back down to where before we added that parameter. And we'll select the rest of the rings around the entire wheel. Now that we've done that, we're going to hit Control v to paste those uh, parameters that we copied from the first ring. And once we're satisfied with this result, we're just going to hit uh, OK to complete that. Now let's bring up fillet mode once again, but this time we're going to uh, we're going to fillet this ring here on the outer edge. And we're going to copy this parameter, so Control c bring the arrow back down, and we're just going to select the rest of the rings around the entire uh, wheel again. And I'm going to stop the video and now that we're back, we're going to hit Control v to paste these parameters. Awesome. So now we can right click and hit OK to finalize this. Now we can take the time slider forward till right after we mirror this half of the wheel. So here, and let's select this inner ring here on the rim. And we're going to create a pipe on this. So let's go to Create Pipe. And now select this uh, inner ring here on the rim. And let's downscale this to somewhere around here. That looks good. Change it from cut to join and hit OK. Now let's start adding some bolts and stuff on this wheel. So we'll select this surface here and go to create sketch. I want to go to circle down with a circle and I want to start uh, adding some of these uh, bolts and details here. So let's right click and press pull this. And we'll just pull this forward just a little bit. And let's uh, change it from join to new body so we can pattern this afterwards. Now hit F to go into fillet mode and we're going to round this off. This is good here. Awesome. Now let's go to the left view and let's go to create pattern and circular pattern. Let's select this. First change it from faces to body so we can actually select it. And for the axis, we'll choose any ring. And let's just change the quantity to something like, hey, this looks good. Hit OK. Then we'll go to, to combine and we'll just combine these. So we'll grab the main body and we'll just select the bottom seven bodies, which makes up those little bolts we created. Hit join. Now let's select this center here and let's create another sketch. Now we're going to use a circle down under circle once again. Where are you at? There you are. Let's zoom in and somewhere around here we'll create a circle. Let's right click to hit OK and we'll just scale this up a bit. Somewhere around here. Let's press pull this. And we're going to start creating the bolt right now. So we're just creating the area of the bolt where it's going to rest upon. So let's change that to new body, hit OK. Reselect this surface and I want to create a sketch. Let's go down to use this tool here in the polygon. Let's grab the first one and in the center we'll just click and drag out to somewhere around here. And let's press pull this. And we'll just press pull this up somewhere around here. That looks perfect. Leave it on join. Now we can go to pattern this. So we'll go to create pattern and circular pattern. We'll uh, select our body and we'll select any ring. Let's choose something like five. Let's hit OK. And let's combine these. Let's select this body first. Now let's select these five little bolts. The operation set to join and let's hit OK. Now we're going to create some detail on this surface. So let's select the surface and create a sketch. Let's use our circle down with a circle and from the center point once again we'll just drag outwards and let's press pull this baby inwards. 
get the nice concave again to give it that cut and let's hit OK. Now I think it's a good time to fillet this so we'll hit F to go into fillet mode and we'll just uh, drag this into something like this and hit OK. Now let's work on some of this detail so let's select this surface and create a sketch and finish sketch. And we're just gonna select this area between here and just pull this out. And this is gonna be the bulbous area of the tire that gives it that realism. So I'll leave it at join, hit okay. And let's hit F to go into fillet mode. And we're just gonna grab this edge as well as this edge here. And let's pull this arrow inwards to create that bulge area here. And these are the details that give it that realism and separates the boys from the men. <laughs> so once you're satisfied, just hit OK, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.